things were very different here in Ponyville. Because there was no Ponyville. That's right, my little ponies. Me and my family were pilgrim pony folk back when I was a little filly. Oh, we ventured far and wide, collecting new seeds and selling the old. But my pa was the finest seed collector in all Equestria. Then one day, the Smith family found themselves in the most brilliant, most grand, most magnificent of all cities. A place called Canterlot. Well, I bet your hooks to hunt for that I have never seen anything like it before nor since. And as if the beauty of that city wasn't enough, suddenly she appeared. Princess Celestia, the most regal of all hopes. When lo and behold, she stopped to look at my pa's seed collection. Then Princess Celestia saw that we were Plum Tucker from the hankering to find our forever home. And being the royal princess and all, she knew exactly the place for us to lay down our stakes. My pa gave the princess a mighty thanks. We quickly found that land near the Everfree Forest, and we built our first home. Next, we planted our first orchards. But an orchard don't grow overnight, and we were getting mighty short on food. Now, mind you, we were cautioned about the forest, and we knew that it was not fit to enter. But I knew if there was critters living there, there must be something to eat. It was dark and musty, and I won't lie, it was scary. But every inch was covered in plant life, and before I knew it wasn't, I was standing in front of the most incredible apple trees. I had never seen anything that bore this kind of colorful fruit. Oh, I started picking apples quick as a whip. I turned, and there before me stood the timber wolf. I've never run so fast in my life. I did the only thing I could think of. My pa and I planted those special apple seeds, and before our eyes, they grew like wildfire. Why, we had full-grown trees faster than you could say, look at this bread! Then each year, I pay close attention to the signs of the Zap Apple special harvesting times, how the weather affects the Everfree Forest, how the timber wolves howl when the Zap Apples first start growing, and how they zapped away if you didn't pick them all in one day. And the fruits of our labor were the best fruit we ever tasted. Soon enough, I was mixing up batches of Zap Apple jam. And just like harvesting the Zap Apples had its special rules, so did making Zap Apple jam. I learned that you gotta be extra friendly with the bees, otherwise their honey won't taste rightly sweet to mix in with the zap apples. Who'd have thought that glass jars needed talking to? Or that zap apples like pink polka dots. But magic is as magic does, just funny that way. Then ponies started coming to our farm from far and wide just to get a taste of my zap apple jam. Some even decided to stay, like stinking rich, Diamond Tiara's great-grandfather. Matter of fact, the first thing he ever saw was my Zap Apple Jam. And before we knew it, we had ourselves a nice little town, bustling with all kinds of ponies. And that is how Ponyville was founded.